Welcome back. So glad that you joined me. Now, if I asked you to go and join the Olympic wrestling team or the Olympic bobsledding team or the Olympic whatever team or even some major league team, most of you would probably look at me and go, "Uh uh-huh, yeah, right. I don't have what it takes to be able to join that team. I don't know how to do that sport. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. But most of us, if we were to throw that out and then tell people, well, remember this, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Now, that's an interesting dilemma, because often when we look at that verse, that's exactly what we do. We tell people that they're able to do stuff because Jesus is the one that gives them strength. But what we forget to do, like we do with a lot of verses in the Bible, is we forget to look at the context of what is happening in that verse. Now, this is Paul that's writing to the church in Philippi. And today we're looking at Philippians chapter 4 in verse 13. And just as I quoted, it says this, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Paul looking to Jesus. But the question that we have to ask ourselves is this. Why was Paul able to say that he's able to do all things through Jesus? The reason that we see earlier on is through the fact that Paul says that I have learned to be content in all situations. Whether I have a lot, whether I have a little, whether I'm high praised or whether I'm put down in the dirt. No matter what the situation I know that Jesus will carry me through. Now, it's time for us to change the way that we see the things that we do and the things that we say. But even more than just that, it's time for us to speak like Paul and say that no matter what situation I'm placed in, I have learned to be content because of what Jesus is doing in and through me. I will continue to praise him no matter what the cost. As we continue on, let us continue to remember what Jesus does, what he's doing through us, and how he continues to call us to point others to him as we journey together. Thank you again for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's word together. God bless.